Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. I'm super excited because I have been doing so many unboxings lately, and I have been having tons of fun being able to share all these different merch items with you and also review them as we go along. Today is no different. I have another unboxing, and this one is from an event that happened earlier this year in Japan. The event that happened in Japan actually came out with some really cute merchandise, so I definitely wanted to get my hands on these items. It was from an event called the Sailor Moon Illumination, which happened at the Saga Miko Illumination in Pleasure Forest. So this was a very special collaboration that happened between Sailor Moon as well as this specific place where I guess they have illuminations like this for a bunch of different collaborations. Uh, this one in particular featured a whole bunch of really beautiful scenes and I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't able to travel to Japan and go to this event myself but luckily my proxy did go and he was able to pick up a bunch of merchandise for me. So this is what he got. Now I did not go nuts at this event and honestly I probably could have. I just decided on a few very specific items to add to my collection, things that I thought I would get the most joy out of. So first off I'll show you this clear file set. I'll show you on my top down camera. So here we have the first clear file in this clear file set of two. This one features the inner Sailor Guardians as well as Sailor Chibi Moon with all of their Sailor Crystals. I think that's so pretty. On the back, we have this really beautiful, it almost looks like a celestial image, but this is one of the logos from the Illumination event. There's a Ferris wheel up here. There's a bunch of rides, and they also have little emblems from Sailor Moon. Like here's the Space Time Door, Crystal Tokyo. They have their lift chairs, which is one of the things that you can do when you're at the Illumination. All sorts of stuff on here. So I thought it was so pretty. The second clear file is purple. In this this one features the Outer Senshi, and again, they have their Sailor Crystals. Really pretty art. The next item in this collection is a full set of the Sailor Moon acrylics. Now these are really heavy acrylics. They're actually really nicely made. I would like to know if anybody else out there collects acrylic figures and if you store them away, like in a photo album, or if you do display them, how do you display them? Because I'm curious how you conserve space when it comes to displaying all of these little things. So here's the full set. This one features Eternal Sailor Moon a stand as well as the display for the event. Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Sailor Uranus, Neptune, Luto, a tiny Sailor Saturn, Sailor Chibi Moon. I love those acrylics. I think they're so pretty and I like that they're a little bit bigger than the ones that you can get from the Sailor Moon store. So this illumination event also had food items. And of course, with that comes some little extra additional items that you could get if you purchased food. So this was one of those items. It's a placemat and it's made out of plastic. So I feel like it'll last a long time. A lot of times at these temporary events, they will give you paper or cardboard or like a cardstock type of placemat. This one is actually plastic, so you can wipe it off, which is pretty cool. There were two different ones. I wanna get the second one from this Illumination event as well, but I'll probably have to find that one secondhand because it wasn't available through my proxy, but he was able to get this one, so I'm very happy about that. There were a whole bunch of other items that I definitely considered purchasing from this event, but I just decided to save some money and not buy everything, even though I definitely thought about it, but I'm saving some money this time. All right, so this last item is the one I was looking forward to the most. It's a tapestry. It's so pretty. I was really excited about this. Look how huge this is. Ah, it's so gorgeous. Even has this like beautiful backdrop, which looks like the illumination event. I saw some imagery from this event and holy crap, it was so pretty. It was just stunning. But I love this tapestry, this wall scroll. It is just beautiful. And it does come with some additional cords so you can hang it on your wall, which I fully intend to. I think it's so gorgeous. What do y'all think? <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So at time of recording, I don't believe that this event is still happening in Japan. However, they did have it running for quite some time. I was kind of disappointed that we weren't able to travel there. In fact, we still can't travel to Japan as tourists, so I'm still waiting but hopefully things will change in the next year and we can actually travel to Japan again. Really, really missing it. It's been like four years, I think, since the last time I went to Japan and 
that's way too long for me. I need to go back. Now, I have a question for y'all. Are you the kind of person who collects merchandise from Japanese events? A lot of times we see very limited edition merchandise from these events. And a lot of times it's original art or it's art that we've never seen before. So I really enjoy collecting these products from these events. Cause you know, if, if I can't be there in person, at least I can live vicariously through the merchandise that I'm able to get from these events. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions about the Illumination event or any other things that are happening in Japan. USJ Universal Studios Japan Tokyo just happened at time of recording. So I know that I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the USJ items as soon as my proxy is able to pick up those items for me and mail them over to me here in America. So I'm looking forward to those. Otherwise, I do have a whole bunch of other merch unboxings and reviews to do for you from the past year. So let me know what you're looking forward to on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And again, my name is Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Jane.